And dear learners, I welcome you to the next lesson. But before that, we need to review the previous lesson so that we are able to pick from there. I hope everything went on well. As we moved on and you are doing everything possible, make sure you cover up all the parts of all the lessons you have been missing when you are at home. And I believe that we continue with that spirit. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next move as we check on the previous lesson. Thank you. When you check on your board, we have our corrections for the previous lesson. We looked at three numbers. And the work was talking about the area of parts of figures. We are given numbers involving the shaded parts or the unshaded parts. When you look at your question one, it has two parts. That is A and part B. So after calculating your work in number one A, I, when you check your number one, we require you to have the answers as shown on your screen. Number one A, the answer should be 60 square centimeters if you have used centimeters because in your figure they will mix some units. Inside is showing meters and outside is centimeters. So if you have used meters, centimeters, sorry, you are supposed to have 60 square centimeters. If you have used meters, your answer will be, or your answer is 60 square meters. Number one B, the area of the outer figure is 256 square centimeters and the inner figure is 56 square centimeters. You are total, you are the answer after subtracting, the area of the inner figure from the area of the outer figure should be 200 square centimeters. When we look at number two, the area of the outer figure should be 5,000 square centimeters and the area of the inner figure should be 1225 square centimeters giving us the answer as 3775 square centimeters number three the area of the outer figure that outer figure when you check very well is a parallelogram where the area should be the base times the height so when you multiply the base of the parallelogram times the height which is standing on the left hand side, dotted line, eight centimeters is the height. And then the base is 16, sorry, the height is eight decimeters and the base is 16 decimeters. When you multiply, it should give you 128 square decimeters. Then the inner figure just at the, at the vertex sloping down, is a triangle when you say the area equals a half base times the height where are you supposed to find the base if the base of the, the parallelogram is 16 decimeters but part of it they are shown on the right is seven decimeters which means you should subtract 16 minus 7 the base of the triangle is it nine decimeters when you calculate your answer is it 36 square decimeters when you subtract 36 from 128, it should give you 92 square decimeters. From there, let's take on to our lesson for today, which is still about the area of parts of figures. Let's look at number one. The area of the shaded part of the figure below is 63 square centimeters. Let's study the figure. Let's study the figure very well. Our figure is having two layers, if you see there. We have the outer and the inner. The outer is separated by the shaded part to the inner figure. So let's go through the outer figure. This is our length and this is the width, or the length and the width. The length of the outer figure 
is 15 centimeters and the width is 13 centimeters. The length of the inner figure is 12 centimeters and the width is not given. Remember, they are saying the area of the shaded part is 63 square centimeters. The area of the shaded part. Where is the shaded part? Is it here? This part here. The other time, we looked at how to find the area of the shaded part. We say the area of the shaded part equals to the area of the outer figure minus the area of the inner figure. But this time, the question is saying, find the area of the inner figure. So what do we do? The area of the shaded part is given. Let's look at what we are supposed to do. They have given the area of the, 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 the shaded part, but they have not given the area of the outer figure. So what are we supposed to do? We need to calculate the area of the outer figure. By saying, area of outer figure is the same as the length times the width, because it is a rectangle. Let us substitute. Area equals 15 centimeters times 13 centimeters, giving us the answer as when you multiply 15 times 13, what do we get from there? We get 195 square centimeters. When you multiply 15 times 13, it's 195 square centimeters. After getting that, remember, the area of the shaded part is 63 square centimeters. So what are we need of? We need the area of the inner figure. So what? The area of the inner figure will be the area of the outer figure minus the area of the inner figure which is given there, 63 square centimeters. What is our final answer? When you subtract 5 minus 3, what do you get? Let's have that bar. 5 minus 3, we shall get there, 2. Then 9 minus 6, we get 3. When you take away 1 minus 0, we shall remain with 1. So the area of the inner figure, given the area of the shaded part and the area of the outer figure, we still subtract. And our final answer is that, is 132 square centimeters. We subtract the area of the outer figure minus the area of the shaded part to give you that. What if they ask for the area of the outer figure? Remember the outer figure is the old figure. Meaning, it is the area of the inner figure plus the area of the shaded part. So, that is our question. A, on form and one. The next question is coming from there. Saying, find the width of the inner figure. When you look at the figure very well, the inner figure lacks something. And that is the width. They have given only the length of 12 centimeters. This part here is not given and this is the width. So it is necessary. What shape is that or what name is given to the figure? It is a rectangle. So how do we get the area of a rectangle? We say area equals to the length and the width times the width. So this time we are going to alternate by saying the length times the width equals to the area. Remember when we are finding the missing part, we are supposed to use the formula for finding the area of a given figure to find what is missing. So we say length times the width is equals to the area. What is the area of the inner figure? It's, uh -huh, it's 132 square centimeters. So we substitute. 12 centimeters is the length of the inner figure. And then our W there stands for the width. When you multiply those two, should give you 132 square centimeters. What is the next step? We are supposed to remain with only W. By saying, that is it. We divide either side by 12 centimeters. So when we divide, let's check. 12 centimeters times W out of 12 centimeters equals 132 square centimeters is the same as centimeters times centimeters. Let us see how we can eliminate the 12. We remain with only W. We divide either side by 12 centimeters. By saying, when you divide 12 centimeters 
like 12 centimeters, you shall remain with it, you shall get one. There also, you shall get one. Let's go to the other side. Saying, by 12 centimeters here, or by 12 first, you shall get there one. When we divide 132 by 12, our answer is 11. 12 centimeters, remember there is centimeters times centimeters. And we have divided, we have already cancelled the centimeters from here. What do we get from the other side? Centimeters by centimeters, we remain with 1. What have we remained with there? 1 times W, which gives the W. Equals 11 times centimeters times 1, giving us our W as 11 centimeters. Check through that work. Well. Go through very well before we go to the next number. Follow through in saying find the area of the inner figure. We have got it. Which is 132 square centimeters. Find the width of the inner figure, which we have done. So this, this question was picked from the previous numbers and was just changed. The other one was asking for the area of the shaded part. This time they wanted the inner. Next time they'll ask for you for the outer, as we explained earlier. Let's look at our example two. Our example two, when you look at that two, it's saying a carpet of seven meters by four meters is laid centrally on a floor as shown below. Even at home, I believe you have those carpets or others are having tiles, which looks like almost that or some other colors. Those tiles are not just fixed on the floor. You just bring from anywhere and you fix them. They use measurements. You have to calculate the space. So when you look at the space, when you are putting the carpet, we need to leave some spaces to allow you to put some other thing that will not affect so that you are able to remove and clean them. So if our carpet is in that form, saying a carpet of seven meters, which means the length by four meters. A carpet of seven meters, this one. This is the length of the carpet by four meters. Moves up to here. There are some spaces left, which we are going to look at why they have left those spaces and how we are able to get it. So it was placed or laid centrally on the floor. Where is our floor? The whole of this is the floor, including where the carpet is. But we consider the edge here you are seeing to take the measurement. So how do we get? Let's come to this part saying find the length of the floor. Find the length of the floor. How are we going to get the length of the floor? How are we going to get the length of the, the floor? Let's look at these measurements here through the figure. The length of the floor will be this one here. You look at that distance which is remaining. The distance from here to here is one meter, where the carpet has not touched. And the carpet, the length of the carpet is seven meters. The space the other side on the right is also one meter. So one meter, plus the seven meters plus one meter gives us the length of the floor. So how do we get the length of the floor? Find the length of the floor. We are going to say it is it one meter, which you are seeing there, plus seven meters plus one meter. What does it give us when we add one plus seven plus one, giving us nine meters? So it is the one meter plus seven meters plus one meter, giving us nine meters. Let's look at the next question. Find the width of the floor. Where is the width of the carpet? The carpet is four meters here. But the floor is from here up to here. How are we going to get it? We have to do this. We have to get the space remaining here, which is here. It is one meter. From here to here is one meter. We use this one to find the width. And we use this part to find the length. 
So find the width of the floor, we shall say this one here, this is one meter from the, the, the carpet to the edge of the floor. Then also this way, we have another one meter. So what do we say? The width of the floor will be one meter plus four meters, the width of the carpet plus another space remaining, which is one meter, giving us six meters giving us six meters which means the floor is nine meters by six meters it's nine meters long and six meters wide the length and the width let's look at the next question find the space left uncovered by the carpet find the space left uncovered by the carpet what are we supposed to do find a space. In the previous lesson, it's just like that number. We are looking for this space here, this one. Don't go on and say it is one meter times one meter times and no, 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 no. We are supposed to know. Go back to your previous lesson and say, how do I get the area of the shaded part? Given the area of the outer figure and the inner figure, we still use that same idea. Remember our outer figure now, the length is nine meters and the width is it? six meters. What about the carpet? The length is seven meters, and this one here, four meters. So what are we going to say? Find the space left uncovered by the carpet. The space left, we first get the area of the floor, which is it? Area equals the length times the width, giving us nine meters times six meters. What is the final answer? 9 times 6 gives you 54 square meters. We should also not forget to find the area of the carpet. Area of the carpet is the length times the width. Giving us the length of the carpet is 7 meters and the width is 4 meters. What is the final answer? Giving us 28 square meters. Meters. Go back to the question. He's saying find the space left uncovered by the carpet. We are looking for this space here. This one. What is the area of that space? It will be the area of space left uncovered. It will be the area of the floor. You take away the area of the carpet. And what is our answer? Mm -hmm. 4 take away 8, 4 is small, what are we going to do, we are supposed to regroup. So how do we regroup? Yes, borrow 1 from 5, what are we going to get? 5 will remain in 4, and then the 1 taken will be added to 4, that 1 is equivalent to 10, plus 4 giving us 14, so 14 minus 8, what do we get? 6. 4 minus 2. What do we get? 2. So the area of the space left uncovered is 26 square meters. When you add 26 plus 28, you should be able to give you 54. So we keep playing on. We say the area of the carpet can be got by the area of the whole floor minus the, the space left. The area of the space left is equal to the area of the floor minus the area of the carpet. Meanwhile, the area of the floor equals to the area of the carpet plus the area of the space left. And our answer is 26 square meters. Check through your work. Go through. Go back and review. You see, so that you are able to understand. Follow what we always give you, which will be of help to you. Let's go to number three. Number three, the diagram below shows a photo in a frame. I believe at home on your walls, you have them. The photos, even yours, is there. Those photos are placed in the frame with the measurements. They have to balance them. Those photographers are good at balancing. They put them very well so that you are able to admire. Just like you are seeing ours there. We have to enjoy them and read through very, very well. 
they have given you the length of the frame as 13 centimeters. The width of the frame is 8 centimeters. The frame is not too big. And then inside here is the photo which has been placed. The space between the photo and the frame here is 2 centimeters. This side also 2 centimeters. The difference in the width here is 1 centimeter and here also 1 centimeter. In the previous number, or number 2, they had given you the inside length and outside was missing. What did we do to get the length outside? We added. But here, they have given the outside length. We have 13 centimeters and this is 8 centimeters. There is a difference between question 1 and question 2. Or question 2 and then our number 3. And the question is saying find the length and the width of the photo. Some of us when we are calculating number, we tend to add it, And then we don't follow through what we are supposed to do there. Remember, they are asking for the length and the width of the photo. The other time, they were asking for the one of the outside one. So, the length of the photo is the same as the length of the inside figure. The width of the photo is the same as the width of the inside figure. Let's find a way. How are we going to get the length of the inside figure or the photo? Yes? Let's look for the length before we go for the width. This time, instead of adding... We are going to say it is 30 centimeters, which is the length of the frame, the photo frame, minus, because the length is that adjustment, this one here, this one. When you bring this here, like our second example, 2 plus the 13 plus 2 should give you, sorry, plus here should give you 13. But here, they have given us the outer one, which is 13. So to get the inner length, we subtract. We say 13 minus this 2, which is the space left here, plus this one here. We put in bracket. Don't forget to put in bracket. The rules we follow when we are simplifying numbers in integers. You know it very well. When a negative opens the bracket, everything here changes. When a negative opens bracket and meets the negatives, it changes positive. So if you say minus 2 minus 2 and you don't include the bracket, it's going to give you a different answer. So we say 13 centimeters minus open bracket 2 centimeters plus 2 centimeters. What do we get next? When you add 2 plus 2 as you're opening the bracket, it is 4 centimeters. So 13 centimeters minus 4 centimeters. What do we get as the length of the photo? It is 9 centimeters. So the distance from here to here is 9 centimeters. Let's look at the width. Yes, my line is there. Very straight. Make sure yours is also there like that. Very clean. Right well. Arrange your work properly. We are looking for the width. How do we get the width? The width of the frame is 8 centimeters, which means the distance remaining here for us to get this, we should subtract by saying 8 centimeters minus 1 centimeter, which is this, plus this one here. What does it give us? 8 centimeters minus 2 centimeters, giving us 6 centimeters. The next question is there. Find an area that is not covered by the photo. The only difference is here that you are subtracting, the other one you are adding. The space left, space not covered by the carpet, they are all got by subtracting. The area of the outer figure, this one here, minus the area of the inner. Now we know the length of the photo, that this one here is 9 centimeters, and the width is 6 centimeters. So what do we do to get the area of the photo? of the, the space left uncovered by the photo. We must first know the area of the area of the frame, which is the area equals the length times the width, giving us 13 centimeters times 8 centimeters, 
What is the answer? 13 times 8 gives us 104 square centimeters. The next area of the sorry, correct that one there, this point here is not the area of the frame. It should be the area of the photo. Here is the area of the frame. This one should be the area of the photo. Look at what I'm pointing at. This one here should be the area of the photo, not the area of the frame. Check through very well. Area of the photo. What does it give us? Area equals the length times the width, which gives us 9 centimeters, which we got here times the 6 centimeters we got here. What is our final answer? 54 square centimeters. And then, finally, we are supposed to find the area of the uncovered space. Uncovered area equals to the area of the frame. You take away the area of the photo. So 104 minus 54. What do we get from there? Mm -hmm. You must analyze. Those bars are very important. If you don't put it, means you have not separated the numbers you are subtracting from the answer. So let's subtract. 4 minus 4 gives us 0. Huh. 0 and 5. 0 is small. So we need to regroup. And what do we do there? Regroup. 1 there. Mm -hmm. This one here, you transfer it. You you combine 0 and the 1, which is equivalent to 10, giving us 10. 10 minus 5, what do you get here? 5. So the area of the space left uncovered by the photo or with the photo there is 50 square centimeters. Our learners, our candidates, after doing this, you are supposed to check through your work parallel. Go through, make sure you have understood each and every step. I told you earlier on that you are supposed to correct this. It's supposed to be the area of the photo, not the frame. Have you got me there? The area of the photo, not the area of the frame. This one is the area of the, the photo. Thank you very, very much. This one brings us to the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure you go through them further. I wish you the best. Meet in the next lesson. God bless you.